During the recent heist at Captain Knighton's Manor, I made a stupid mistake. The alarm sounded, and I made it out just before the guards caught me, ran through the maze-like streets of the city, and thought that I had escaped my pursuers. I finally hid in the shop of my fence, Lark Butternose, the only man in the city I can really trust. Things calmed down, and the next day I went out to spend some of the spoils of my hard work while Lark kept the shop open to sell other items, I found. Later, when I returned to Lark's place, it was ransacked. My equipment, our loot, and Lark were all gone. I talked with the locals and learned that the city watch had raided the place just a few hours ago confiscated everything, arrested Lark, and dragged him to the notorious Old Town Jail. Turned out Captain Knighton, the one whose manor I had robbed, took the thing very seriously and swore to apprehend and execute everyone involved in the heist. And now they have Lark. They will probably interrogate him and learn about me. I have enough problems already, and I do not need a powerful revenge-seeking watch captain at my heels. I think now is the time for me and Lark to go our separate ways. Our agreement was quite profitable for both of us, but now it needs to end. But only after I bust Lark out of the old town jail. I owe him that much. More importantly, I would be better if... Okay. It would better if the, the captain did a thing. Yeah, I, I had all that time to read all the other stuff, and then that last one just... Gone. Anyways, hello. And welcome the dark mod this time we're continuing our journey through thomas porter to the second one beleaguered fence i don't know where they got this whole the alarm went off bullshit because i done broke that thing by jamming a candlestick into it so you can't tell me the alarm went off when it didn't go off thank you very much but anyways how, what do we have from each difficulty here? Uh, differences is a jailbreak, not a killing spree, as well as more money. Um, and knockout limit, as well as more money. So, we go middle of the road, like always. We need to get Lark out before he's interrogated. Help him hide in the hay cart near the way you came in. Find your thieving equipment. I guess I left it with Lark. The city watch stronghold probably contains valuables. Get at least... 2,500 in loot. That's just gonna piss them off more, isn't it? After you're done, exit the way you came in. And of course, while you're doing everything, don't kill anyone. Can I buy equipment? I guess I can. Uh, lockpicks! Yes. Just. Yes. Don't need no, uh, short swords. We'll do our black jack. Lantern would be nice. So would a map. Always helps to have a map. Uh, and water arrows. I don't just a minute. I didn't see all this stuff. Uh, rope arrow. And... Water arrows! <laughs> Sounds good to me. But, yeah. Always helps to have a map. And a light source to read the map. Let's do this. I oh, be like in the shadows, please. Why do you have a healing potion on you? Of all things, sir. Can I have a healing potion? Whoa. Holy crap. Ola. Guards with... Torches could go to hell. You come on back here, dude, so I can knock you out a little bit. Just a little bit. 
Come on. Maybe it was just a shadow. Yeah, it was a shadow, all right. It's fucking shadow. Hmm. How you see me through a goddamn? I didn't even. Let's restart the mission, shall we? Sound good? Sounds good. Huh. Let's save here. So how am I gonna get past him? Can I climb up here? Of course not. That'd be too easy. If he's gonna come all the way back, what do what do I do? What do, what do, what do, what do, what do, what do I do? How far back you gonna come there, man? Damn it. Did something No, it's just me. I didn't know how ow! How far back he was gonna go. So what we wait. Here's the hay cart, by the way, most likely. From right here. Anytime there's a hay cart involved, it's... Everybody thinks of Assassin's Creed. Never played a single one. Sound odd. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here now, please. Bye. Oh, one horrible torch wielding bastard off the streets. You guys, you're dangerous. Stay right there. See if I can go get me a health potion. That took way longer than it needed to, but um, you live, you learn. Ooh, the guy with the health potion went. Doing tight. Hmm. Huh. I get past him without. I'm gonna have to put it out, aren't I? I only have one water arrow though. And what would have happened if I didn't buy the water arrow? Well, luckily I also bought a rope arrow, so. What any noise? Shut up. Take that with me just in case. They just have golden goblets out, huh? Makes sense. Precious rights. You have the right to shut the hell up and let me beat you, apparently. Precious right. Read to suspect upon arrest. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right not to injure yourself, falling down the steps on the way to the cells. You have the right not to jump out of a high window. You do not have to say anything, you see. But anything you do say, well, I have to take it down and it might be used as evidence. On shift, huh? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, wish you got there, buddy. Mind if I take that? Thank you. Also. What? Also. Thank you. That was me smacking your buddy upside the head. Did I take your arrow? I must have taken your arrow. Yeah, because I only have one key. There we go. Alright. Let's see what we got map wise. Cool! Probably didn't need to buy that. Sir, Captain, it has come to my attention that Inspector Oliver McTavish has misplaced the key to the evidence storeroom during the night patrols. As I understand, it is the only way to have... It is the only one we have, and I felt inclined to write this report so you will have, be aware of the situation as soon as you return to duty in the morning. In my opinion, sir, such sloppiness should not be tolerated. Wow, nobody likes a snitch, bitch. Nobody likes a snitch. Snitches get stitches. 
Especially when they're cops. I came through the officer's quarters, or the offices, officer's offices. Say that 10 times fast. Gotcha! I'll be right back. Ow, he still got me. Are you kidding? I thought I saved it up while. Oh, man. It's actually not too bad. I spent most of my time reading. Nothing. Nothing did nothing. Shut up. letter in there that I'm about to miss. Quiet letter to John. Hmm? John, I need your help. I lost the damn key to the evidence storage. Let's find it before morning. Can you try to look for the on your patrol? I'm assigned to the jail tonight and can't look for it. I think I had the key before I went to the cellar to clean up the interrogation room. I took the mop from the cleaning closet, went to the interrogation room, cleaned the mess up, took the mop back to the and went to the office. Then I noticed that the cursed key is missing. We flogged if the captain finds out. Please help, Oliver. Careful nail afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that was poorly lit. Two officers' keys. With two officers! <laughs> nice. Something I got him before he went out. So, he was gonna turn his friend in. You dick, man. You dick. It's like, look, I messed up. I know I messed up. Can you help me out here, brother? No. Apparently, no. I'm gonna get you fired instead. It's just, it's just not right. Um, I think that might be a little full. You know, if you sit in the center of the chair, it's a lot more comfortable. No. Just saying, man. You don't gotta get all huffy about it. Damn. Uh, no! It's not that big of a deal. It's really not. Oh, I want it with a nice quiet. Screw it. Oh, man. I thought I heard something. Uh, no, you didn't. Ow, 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 ow. How many officers do they have? I'm assuming four, because four desks. But I could very well be wrong. Did you have anything on you, sir? I don't think so. So, that's three officers. If he's an officer. Give me more of the dark, please. I need more dark. I just mm. stop looking out the side of your face. I don't like it. There you are. <laughs> oh yeah. Got it that time. Huh? <laughs> 
Gotcha this time. Don't know if this is a captain or not. Oh, this is just a sail. I'm gonna dump this guy in the captain's quarters if I can. Stealing from the captain's quarters? Sounds like a good idea to me. Oh. So I, I'm not gonna be doing that. Okay, gotcha. What the? It's random. Like, I can see you this time. I couldn't see you last time. What? <sighs> Nothing. Eyes in the back of their heads. It's so dumb. Got him this time. Causing me all sorts of problems. I'm gonna have knocked everybody out before I can even do anything. Jeebus. Back to the body part with you. Yeah, Jesus Christ, man. Oh, hi. Um, sorry, I was just, I was just looking out. It's just, um, sorry, that, that probably seemed a little creepy. I can hear him coughing out there through the door. Come on. Must have gone downstairs. To the officer's lounge. Finally. Is that expensive, perhaps? No. Or at the very least, I don't know. Well, what would be in the officer's footlocker? Money. Various bribes and whatnot. Fine now. All right. Let's see if we can get into here now. Not get snuck up on. That would not be what I want. Damn it, butter nose. Did he try to sell the scepter without breaking it down? Like, seriously? People in their board games. And under there. Okay. It's too bright in here. I mean, I guess the insult is just me stealing from his office, right? Evidence storage vault. Authorized personnel only. Oh, I can pick it. I'm honestly surprised. I would have thought it would be key only. Because we'd have to track down that guy that lost the key. Because there's only one key, apparently. Apparently, apparently. Ah, come on. This makes sense. This would be this hard, though. Anybody in here? Didn't think there would be. Evidence Chef A. Lord Agsbury murder case. Items found on the side of the murder. Murder weapon. Correspondence from the inspectors. Lord Ag Agersbury murder case. Report from the Inspector Geranery. Sure. 15th of March. 
Arrived at Agasbury Manor, alarmed by the manor's guard, Captain Nelson Hicks. The Lord was found in his room, dead, the dagger in his throat. There was no sign of struggle. The door and windows were firmly closed, and guards were posted at the entrances. We have no clue how the assassin got inside the room, or how the Lord was slain, without alerting the guard outside his room. The only piece of evidence in addition to the dagger was this shiny ceramic shard, which is not from any of the objects present in the room. In the corner of the shard is an engraved letter U. Sir, this is the signature of Ulysses, the master assassin. He's arrived to the city, or rather in the city. I recommend we keep silent about this to avoid panic among the nobility. Inspector Girinarir. Like a pure black dagger that looks so weird. Hmm. Maybe I can cause some panic among the nobility. But it shall be internal investigation of bribed city watch officers. Uh huh. All materials moved to a more secure place. Witnesses disappeared. Case closed. Inspector Jenkins. So they took it all back. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, okay. We don't get bribes. What are you talking about? stuff. Evidence shelf C. Captain's Manor robbery case. High priority! Didn't need to shout at me. Report from the inspector leading the raid. Stolen items found in Lark Butternose's shop. Rightful owners are being sought. Perpetrators thieving equipment. As well as all my loot! Oh, I don't need it because I bought some new ones. Don't mind if I fuck can do my shit. Raid in Lark Butternose's shop. We found the taffer running off from your manor, sir. He slipped away, but later we found that near the Lakatoshan? Lakatoshan. Of the thief's disappearance. Their low location. Got you. Of the thief's disappearance. There's only one general store. We guessed that is the general, is the thief's hiding place. Us gathered more men and raided the sodden place, and yep, we found your scepter, among other stolen items, and the taffin thieving thingies. I, what? He's guilty, and we gave him a good thrashing for stealing your stuff before we threw him in a jail. McTavish. Wait, they think Butternose stole my shit? I don't know whether to be insulted or impressed that they're so incompetent. I mean, I don't know if that would that would be the loot that I need since it was already my loot, but uh, sure, I'll take that as loot gold. What's this? Always look under the stairs. Uh, wait, what? I thought there was something there. Am I crazy or... I was not expecting that. Like, at all. Hi. How are you? Jails? Jail cells right now? A little awkward, don't you think? I wasn't expecting this to happen. Finish with top floor and go immediately to bottom floor? Jail cell. Cell block B. Cell block A. Well... Cell block A, Benjamin Castlo, serial killer! Well, damn. Aaron Ford, pickpocket. Cell block A, still. Kent can... McGamelshin uh, Assault. A10. Lark Butternose. There we go. Stolen property salesman. Sublock B. We have Malcolm de Grand, murderer and escapologist. Right next to him is Mark Bedford, a rapist. Horrible person. Justin Colonel, a thief. Sublock B is Benny Johnson, killer. The ape. Mike Rogers, yeah. loitering. I don't. 
So can we kill the rapist? The serial killer and all of that? I guess we can't. We're not allowed to kill. That looks very uncomfortable. I'm sorry, man. But you kind of deserved it. So all we need is A10. If we knew anything about the other ones, we could probably... Probably grab... Actually, let's just go down. Jump. Never mind. We're gonna finish up. You! My nemesis! Well, you're not my nemesis anymore. Don't worry, I'll look for another nemesis. Actually, we should probably go down last, right? Thank you. <laughs> Anything underneath this stair? Wait, I have there you go. Always lung underneath the stairs. Two stairs, two things we got to take. I don't even find the... Oh, hi. Uh, I wonder if we can find the key. You know what? Help! He's... Shut up. Sorry, Chefman. But I don't have time for you. Golden goblets. These people and their golden damn... Goblet bread! Ah, oh, no car bloating. Apple at least? Can't even eat the apple! Ready to be skinned and everything. Alright. Ah, God's quarters. And then came the builder, and his great wisdom, he struck down the farmer's family with disease and illness. Master Builder, why dost thou torment me so? cried the farmer, burying his youngest child. Where are thine works? asked the builder. By cultivating thine soil, thou worship the heathen god of the weed in nature. Art thou a pagan? Where art thine works? It is thou, thyself, who hast brought the misery upon thine family. And then the farmer, seeing the error in his ways, slew his remaining heathen family and joined the holy brotherhood of the builder to amend his wrongdoings. And for his noble deeds, the builder granted him heavily... Well, I mean, they did something to him when he died. Let's just leave it at that, murderer. Thank you. What we got in here? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit, man! Oh shit! Why did you get up and then lay back down? You're making this difficult on me! Okay, fine, bye. I may have overreacted a little bit there, but he deserved it. Up! Ah! I'll take that. Come with me, sir. And I'll dump you right here. All right. What else do we have here? Oh, a mop closet. That isn't that fancy. Is the key in here? So he did put the mop back. Doesn't look like it. Damn it. <sighs> and whatnot. I should have saved after I knocked out the cook. I. Dump you over here. Forgot the cups. Good thing I had to reload. by Grab, grab, grab. Yeah, there we go. Save. How you doing? Is the front? Make this 
may be the front desk. How'd you put this on a freaking book? Heathen. Reported crimes today. Lord Princeton, 100 and a receipt. And a stolen property. Want the poster issued. Uh huh. Gang led by one Kenny Hogton extorts money. Guards patrol sent to gang. Tuesday. Pearls. Michael confidential payment received. Guard patrol sent. Benford Penny, 10 gold, po gold points. Actually, I don't know what that GP is. Uh, received neighborhood. Carl River destroyed property. No action. Key. If there was something I needed to read into that, I did not read it because I... Uh, there's something wrong with me. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, somebody broke in the door to the public shitter. Excuse me now. Please wait for your turn. You may report crimes on your turn. Reporting fee is 10 gold points. Trouble Troublemaking will result in a fine of 100 guild points or imprisonment. Jesus. Kind of fucked up that you need to pay. Hello, everybody. How are you? What? Stop getting up. Does he just randomly get up? Because all I'm doing is picking a lock. Locking a pick. You know, stuff like that. No lights for you. You don't deserve it anymore. Go to bed and shut the hell up. Am I understood? Good. Good. like they're on high alert in bed. Sleep with one eye open, they said. Oh, holy water? Wait, what? Are you the one that brought in the book of the builder? You're not one of those builder bashers or whatever they are. They, they bring, they, they hit you with the book of the builder. Captain's up to something. It all started after they found that hole in the jail when they started to build the new cell block. Captain went down there all alone and then came back and said, there's nothing there. Use the pit to get rid of the dead prisoners. Well, I sneaked there to look around myself. Nothing there, said the captain. Bollocks, says I. There was some kind of ancient collapsed structure there and a big heavy stone door to somewhere. Couldn't get it open. Looked like a tomb or something. Pretty darn sure that the captain is gonna find out how to open the door and get the wonders inside for himself. Love to see his diary. The book he usually has on his table in his quarters when he's in present. When he is present. He hides it somewhere there. I wish I get a glimpse of those pages. Ah, seems like there's more to discover here and not just to get butternose out. So, if that's the case, then I'm going to leave it here, and we'll have to figure out what's going on next time. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boy Lag, signing off. You can- Oh god! Uh. Close the damn door, please! God, it scared the crap out of me. Wasn't expecting that. Come in. I mean, don't come in. <laughs>